Okay, Denise has taken the easy way. She's gonna sit and watch me. She's not gonna hold the camera. Because her little wrists hurt. <laughs> ha ha! Oh, I can't hold no, it. you talk so long. Too, I, oh no, I, I can't talk tired. long. I can't talk long because I'm on a time limit. I've got only 15 minutes. You know, that's that's not very long for me. I need way more than that. Um, no problem with my eyes today. They're, they're blurry. I, I called about my glasses. I know it's my weight thing, but I'm going to go on a rant. I'm going to start off with a rant. I called on Friday about my glasses. It's been uh, five weeks tomorrow since my glasses were ordered, and they're still not in. And the reason they're not in, you're going to love this reason, the reason they're not in is because I ordered guest frames, which I don't know. I just picked a frame that I liked. I didn't, I, you know, I'm not like a, you know me, I'm not a, like a movie star that I have to have like a name brand. But, um, uh, uh, it was a guest frame, and the reason that they haven't sent it yet is because they ran out of the glass cases that they come in that say gas on them. Guess what? I don't care. Give me my glasses. I'm not wearing the glass case. I very rarely, I would say 1% of the time, do I put the glasses in the glass case. I just throw them around. I'm very hard on glasses. I'm really, really bad with glasses. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. That's just who I am. So anyway, I'm going to call on Wednesday, and... Uh, if they're not in, I'm going to get a refund. I don't care. I'll go somewhere else. I know I'm going to have to wait another two weeks, but, you know, this this glass company's not going to get them. The other place where I used to go, which was called the Lens Boutique in Clinton Township, I've gone there for like 15 or 16 years. The reason I went there was because it was right attached to the doctor's office. And um, and the only reason I left that doctor is because it was such a far away. I wanted to get something closer to home. It wasn't anything against the doctor other than you got to wait in the waiting room forever. But um, I would always get my glasses within two weeks. I guess they didn't have the fancy schmancy frames from the fancy schmancy designers in there. They were good enough. That's all. You know, I'm well, you know me, good enough. So, um, and my hair is starting to bother me. It's it's getting bad. So I am gonna get a haircut soon. Sooner than later, but I don't know how soon. But soon. And uh I'm still gonna just sit in the chair and just tell them I'm not old, I just look old. Give me a style that works and uh, go from there. But uh, anyway, back in, back to my weight loss. I did lose three pounds, so I'm very happy. Um, I have to admit, it, it was a hard journey with those three pounds. It was, when um, I started, it was easy. I, you know, I, I got on the bandwagon and started eating the right way and walking and doing all my good crap that I do. And I was doing really well, but uh, just that little bit of time being off, it really... It's hard to get back on now. I mean, it's like I know that if you fall off the horse, you're supposed to get right back on, but I guess I'm riding side saddle because <laughs> I haven't got my whole leg over the other side. I'm not really completely on it. I am lost the three pounds, but that's just because I stopped drinking the pop, which is loaded with sodium and sugar and probably retained a lot of water, so I can't really think that it was a real true weight loss. But, I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain. But uh, So now I'm down to back to 266. I'm still four pounds heavier than my lightest, which was 262. And uh, I'm going to throw some numbers at you. I looked at my calendar, and uh, it's been 26 weeks since I started talking to you guys. And in the 26 weeks, I've lost 40 pounds, if you figure that, you know, take into the fact that I gained the 10. But from... From my starting weight till now, in 26 weeks, I've lost 40 pounds, which is a pound and a half a week, which is like a, a fairly good goal. Could have been more if I wouldn't have screwed up for those five weeks between Christmas and now. But, uh, and then I have another 34 weeks till my birthday. So at that point, if I lost a pound and a half a week for that, which I think is a realistic goal... Um, I could have lost another 51 pounds, which would put me at 91 pounds, which is really close to my 9-pound goal of the 100 pounds. So if I got close to that 9 pounds, I wouldn't do it the right way. I would starve. I would use diuretics. I would use stuff just, just so I could say. You're jinxing yourself. Now God's not going to let that happen. No, i got to let that happen. Because, you know, I, have, I am an angel. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But anyway. So anyway, those, I threw some numbers at you. But um, I just... Uh, it's it's really hard. It's just I um I can't I can't get really back on it a hundred percent like I was. I did walk of the seven days from last Monday to this Monday. I walked one day on the treadmill and I walked three days um outside. 
which it was cold. I won't be lying. It was cold. And I, I would walk now because it's not any colder, I don't think. I mean, it's still just as cold, but it's very snowy and icy and blistery and I don't know. It's just, I mean, it was cold even from the car to the church. Um, my chauffeur didn't drop me off at the door. She did offer, but... Uh, I was going to say, tell them I offered She that. did offer to drop me at the door, but then that would feel like I was an old woman. And then my sister-in-law calling, she was mad that I went, like she thought I was an old lady, that I was going to fall and not be able to get up. You know, there's a lot of people around that could have helped me up. Might have been hard, but they would have, two or three people could have got me up, I'm sure. Like, you know, but uh, anyway, so um, Denise has to get home because Kylie doesn't, do well with the combination. Her garage door doesn't open all the time anyhow, so not in Kylie's defense. Sometimes you can put the right number in and it still doesn't open. I it takes agree. one or two times, so. But uh, anyway, so anyway, um, my quote, I, and I want to thank all of you for being in my life because uh, I really do think that you do hold me accountable. And I want to thank Denise, my sister, because um, Who'd have thunk when we were in the pool in the summer when she was like kind of hesitantly telling me because you know my family were known to uh, rib you. I guess that'd be a nice way of putting it. <laughs> it's a nice way of we attack really, you know, because like vultures. Like we're like vultures, and, and our, that's how we uh, kind of tell if you fit in because if. Um, and Shannon fits in really well because she's she's adapted to this procedure. It's like you have to, to go for the jugular. You know, you just got to know when to do it. You know, you don't go out with somebody when they're really at their lowest because that'd be mean. That would really be cruel. But if they're like on their way down to their lowest, <laughs> they're all, they're fair game. You can go at them. And, uh, and we do. We just, you know, like Denise, I think it's the brunt of it the more because she's the bigger explorer of the group. She um, tries out way more things than anybody else does. And she puts herself on the limb way more than anyone else does. So in that sense, she gets picked on way more than anybody else because uh, it's like, oh, Denise is trying this? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, but, but, you know, I give her credit. She does try it. But anyway, so when she did start this, it... Uh, I, I really didn't think it, I would be losing weight, but I really didn't. I just thought, you know, I'd get on it and it'd be fun. And and uh, I realized why I'm so fat and why I'm so big, because I'm such a ham. I'm like the size of a ham of a pig. It's just like, I love doing this. I, I look forward to it. I really do. I try to get her to do extra videos, and one day I'll learn how to do the editing, and we'll get more videos out because uh, the director here, she's got a time start. You know, she has a bigger, busier life than me. I will give her that. But... Uh, you know, we could have done something on the weekend, but no, she didn't want to. And I don't know how to do it, so we didn't do it. But uh, anyway, so anyway, my quote is, I got to take my glasses off because even though the surgery was supposed to improve it, it really didn't. It's, mine is by David Wolf, and it's just, I have a, a website that just pops up different um, quotes for me that I kind of follow. And, you know, it's like a calendar type of thing, I guess. You know, if you have a calendar and has quotes in it. So this one was, uh, we are in each other's lives for a reason. Thank you for showing up. And uh, thank you for showing up because, you know, you support us and you watch our videos and you seem to like us. And as uh, Sally Field says, you like us. You really, really like us. From her mm -hmm. acceptance speech for, I think it was Places of the Heart, which was a good movie. Side note. That's just me going off on a rant. Um, I didn't think Ricky Gervais was that great last night. He was funny. You know, he had his moments, but uh, it's just, um, you know, it, it was just all right. And, you know, and me of all people, I don't care about swearing. I really don't. I swear a lot. But I just think there's a time and a place. And you're on national TV. You know that, you know, people are looking at you. And it just shows your ignorance when you can't come up with something wittier, I think. Because I, I, I think... Sometimes I'm kind of witty. I'm not all the times kind of witty, but sometimes I'm kind of witty, and I don't think I need to take to vulgarity to be witty. And I, I think for as much, um, I don't know, not that they get a lot of money, because they do get a lot of money, but I just think that, I don't know, that's just me. Off on a rant. But uh, can you think of anything I've missed? I'm even going to show the video. Oh, that's right. I wanted to, I forgot. See, that's why I have the director over here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have Denise. She's going to try. Hopefully, it'll be on there. Um, I want you to see how far I've come on my journey. Because, like I said, this past week has been very, very hard for me to get back on track. And uh, as I was sitting last night eating a bowl of buttered popcorn with a can of Coke, because, you know, Lori, how I like that sound, um, 
I'll, not to lie, I had two. I had a can of Coke and a can of Pepsi because I had, <laughs> you didn't tell me that. Because <laughs> you can't eat a whole big bowl of popcorn with just one can of pop. You didn't say just, that. I know, but you know, <laughs> if truth be told, you know, and then one thing I've always told my kids and, and my grandkids too is, you know, don't lie. What good does it do to lie? I, when my kids are growing up and even my grandchildren now, I tell them, You'll never get me as mad as if you lie to me. I would rather know that you killed, you know, not killed somebody, but <laughs> if you killed somebody and you told me that you didn't kill somebody, I would be upset that you lied to me because, I don't know, I guess that's not a good correlation. But. No, it's not. Okay, if you stole a candy bar from the store, like my son Jimmy did one time, he stole a candy bar from the store, and he came home and he had chocolate all over his face because he wasn't that old. And, you know, I asked him where he got the money for the candy bar, and he said that uh, he didn't have a candy bar. And I could see that he had a candy bar. And then finally he broke down and he told me that he did steal the candy bar. And I was madder that he lied to me about the candy bar than he actually the thought that he stole the candy bar. I would I would have punished him either way, but I guess he got a worse punishment because he lied to me because I brought him back to the corner store and I made him work there for a week after school for an hour each day, sweeping the floors and sweeping the garbage out and picking up the things at, at the store. And like, even the guy said, you know, it was only a 15 cent candy bar. I says, I don't care. He lied to me. <laughs> you know, so, but uh, as far as I know, he's never knowingly stolen anything. But, uh, but anyway, back on my, back on my train of thought. Um, I, uh, I was having a really hard time and I was eating the bowl of popcorn and drinking my can of Coke and my can of Pepsi. And, uh, I just started watching videos, and then I thought, you know, I'm going to see how I looked in my very first video. And, uh, oh my gosh, I was huge. I'm Not that I'm not huge now, because I am, but I'm not as huge. And, uh, and you can really see the difference, and so I wanted to share the difference. My hair was way better looking, too, than this. But uh, I just looked like, boom, you know? So that kind of gave me the incentive that I needed to, to get back on track. And so this morning I got up and... I got my jigsaw puzzle out. Oh, you? I'm not going over my diet. <laughs> I know I'm, I'm not going to go. I'm not telling you. You don't do everything you eat. I'm not telling you what I eat. If you she, do all the time. If she would just let me do my video my way, I was not going to tell you what I was going to eat. You I do all the time. But I do all the time. But I, okay. But I wasn't well, this sure time. Did. But I wasn't this time. I was going to tell you that this morning I got up with the full intention of following my plan, and I even got out my jigsaw puzzle so that when I have the temptation to eat, I will do my jigsaw puzzle if it's okay with some people in the room. You know yourself. I was not going to say anything, but, you, but you I really have do. in the past, but I have <laughs> okay. now. But it's not any different than what she tells me when she was on Weight Watchers with her points. You know, I, well, I have three points for this and that, but but I do go on more than her, I will admit. Oh, yeah. But uh, <laughs> we're two entirely different personalities. <laughs> It's a wonder that, you know, like we're even friends because we are complete opposites of the spectrum, you know. Not really. I would, yeah, well. No, not really. <laughs> I think we're both, you know. I would think that people would never describe me using the adjectives shy, introverted, or quiet. Those are three adjectives would never use to describe me, but. And you think that's what they use to describe me? No, I don't think they'd describe it to you. <laughs> Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> judgmental. <laughs> well, I can come up with another one. Bitter, judgmental, sarcastic. But see, me, they would come up with beautiful, cooperative. I could stop it at any time. You know. She could stop me at any time. <laughs> but uh, we have to get going because she's got to get home for Kylie. But anyway, um, like us. You going to put your thumb over? It's over here. Oh, her thumb's over here. <laughs> Oh, and we're up to three four fifty. Good, good going. Oh, anyway, like us, subscribe, comment, and share. So we will see you on Wednesday. Bye. I'm gonna try to tape it for my thing. This is not at by my house. This is at my sister Sandy's. Hi guys. Just wanted to introduce you to my sister Sandy. She's my oldest sister. I am the youngest of the family. She is the oldest of the family. 
Which I like to remind her of every now and then. She's the first person I've told about my channel. She's been very supportive. She's gone down there and given me some helpful hints. And uh, she's the one that lives just a couple doors away from me. I showed you her front of her house. She walks with me sometimes in the morning if she's up early enough. And I'm going to let her say hi to you. Hello, I'm Sandy. I am the oldest, but the most beautiful. And since 1980, every year I sit in a chair and I say next year I'm going to be 100 pounds lighter. Obviously, I haven't lost 100 pounds. If I have, boy, I was really big. But in that regard, I have lost 100 pounds, if not more than 100 pounds. Unfortunately, I gained back the 100 pounds. I lose it 10 pounds, I gain 15, then I lose 15, and then I gain 10. So Denise is my inspiration, and hopefully um, I'll stay on the journey with her, and we'll both get thin next year. So my goal is to lose um, 100 pounds, too, but it's going to take me more than a year because I'm old, as Denise pointed out. It was nice meeting you. Okay, guys, as you can see, this was a short video. I came over to Sandy's house. She, she told me she'd get on video, and I'm glad that she did, so now she can share in this with me. She took my measurements. I'm not sharing those with you right now. They're, they were pretty sad, and i got to process that for a little bit. Anyway, if you like this video, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment, because you know I like talking with you. I'll see you later. Bye.